Hi all, we made a, an assault shotgun for a short film we did called The Escape. The link's down there if you want to check it out. Um, and this isn't really a tutorial, it's more of a how-to, how we made the actual shotgun out of wood. Out of wood. Okay, this is the finished product. As you can see, it looks pretty realistic. And I'll explain how we got into that in a minute. But how you should start is that we basically got into Google Images, checked out the net and found a picture of an assault shotgun. What we did is we actually extended the, uh, the picture over three pieces of paper to the length of the shotgun that we wanted, taped it all together and we used that template to draw around the outside on a chunk of wood. Now I'll get a close up footage of uh, the shotgun in a minute and explain each bit that we did but um, as I said if you want to see the shotgun in real action footage check out the escape down there or even our clone one trailer which is also in there as well um, but now I'll show you the, uh, the shotgun in more detail this is the shotgun in more detail it's got scratches on it and so on because it's been used quite a bit in our uh, in our movies but it uh, gives you an idea of how it actually looks explain how it was made first as you can see if you look closer you can see it's wood but with the black paint and when you're filming it doesn't really show up okay first of all the core piece of timber which is this piece here that piece here that's one piece of timber it goes through the whole gun up to here. That core piece of timber, which is this piece as well, it's the same piece, um, is about 20 or 18 mil thick, and that's just hardwood, just normal everyday wood. Um, and what we've done is we've taken, take, we've, I've shaped it around through here to give it that rounded look. I actually had to put a join here because the bit of timber was only, you know, so wide. So I actually cut another piece, put a join. And then because the gun actually had screws on it anyway, I put some screws through there and then joined the timber with glue and then rounded the handle off to make it look more realistic. This part here, the back of the actual shotgun, is just craft wood, 3mm MDF wood that's glued on. It's basically shaped like so and then glued on top of this wood. Everything is glued on top of the actual core piece. The actual magazine is just bits of timber glued on top that magazine is part of the core piece core piece being the one piece of wood now this piece here you look you look in your house you'll see that around a lot of older houses there's skirting board that runs along in the bottom of the plaster along your wall that's all that is it's a piece of skirting board it was already curved so I drilled holes in it to make it more realistic then I glued it on to the core piece of wood and this piece of wood here is just a piece of wood glued on as well it's on both sides now on top, these are just bits of MDF or craft wood, just cut up in strips and then glued on top to give it that, uh, that texture as well. Now the barrel, the barrel is actually, it's an inch, it's inch dowel, and inside that dowel I drilled a hole and I put a um, half inch dowel inside and drilled a half inch hole on each end and then glued that together to give it some strength. I did the same here as well. This is on the bottom here is inch dowel as well and between those two pieces I put a bit of half inch dowel and a hole and join it together to give it that gap and that gap set it for the only two bits of PVC on here which is this PVC bit here so it gives you that slide action of course you don't hear that in the real footage and then there's the bit of PVC on the end and the end of the dowel is painted black so it looks like the barrel goes on a bit of PVC on the end there is just to make it give it depth so when you're looking down the camera it looks like you're looking down a barrel. And that's it, there's no trigger system. Usually you've got your finger over it anyway, you only need the finger action. The rest is done in post, it's all, it's all, um, you know, all done with effects of course. And the whole thing cost me, with some black gloss paint and a brush, about 12 bucks. <laughs> so there's no money in it, it costs nothing to make. And as far as a movie prop goes, I reckon it's pretty fantastic.